Hey everyone, it's Christian here again, and <clears throat> I found a duo of Phoenix, as in the date palm family, that I wanted to discuss. And the reason I want to discuss this is um, the importance of getting uh, pure species for your garden. Now, there's nothing wrong with getting hybrids, however, you don't want to pay pure prices for a hybrid plant. And this is basically a beware of fakes uh, sort of uh, vlog. So here we have what would appear to be a pair of Canary Island date palms. And they, they have the look, they have the leaf structure. Um, the flower bracts are similar to a Canary Island date, uh, Phoenix canariensis, but these are not true canariensis. Uh, true canariensis are going to be about three to four times the girth of this trunk here. Uh, it's about, let's see, I'll show you for a reference kind of my hand. Now if you look at the hatching here, the hatching would be is 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 somewhat correct. You can see this, see this right here, the crossing back and forth. Now that would be about each one would be about this, about twice as uh, thick, and the same length, but about twice as thick. And it would be this palm. It's about two feet wide. It'd probably be four to six feet wide if it were true. And canary ants rarely give out this uh, aerial aerial root boss that. Uh, kind of sets, sets up for taking in water straight from the air or from irrigation, which is probably the case. There's probably uh, sprinkler heads that spray this trunk directly, which, um, I mean, isn't bad, but it isn't the best thing. You can see it's causing some trunk damage right there. doesn't give it that good look down below, but then they tend to just cover it with a Schifolera bush, uh, which is uh, no, nothing wrong with that. It's just that it doesn't give the look, I mean, it doesn't have the same purity of uh, Canary Island Day. And the reason... Um, this is probably they the growers probably know this isn't a true canary and they probably sold it at a discount they may have they may have not they didn't sell it at a discount that's kind of uh, morally irresponsible um they like i said they should know better that uh, phoenix is one of the most uh hybridized uh species in cultivation pretty much if you put see there every phoenix is either uh male or female they're uh dioecious they're, they don't have uh, they don't uh, self-pollinate so you, when you have them growing in a uh, field nursery and you're collecting seed and you have multiple species, um, you're going to get hybrids no matter what. It's almost impossible to get pure seed. The best place to get pure seed is from habitat. So Canary Island dates are from the Canary Islands. There are seeds available from the Canary Islands where you will get a nice fat uh, date there. Now, uh, there are reasons people pay, you know, get, get these and these hybrids is because they actually grow a little bit fat they're going to grow probably twice as fast as a regular canary island date um they're going to have less issues with which what canariensis has such as fusarium wilt and ganoderma although they still could suffer from it but it's less likely um and they're just a little bit if you don't want as big of a plant in your yard i mean a true canary is quite a big plant uh, i would you know probably take up the entirety of this whole uh mulched area here and uh, when you'll know when you see one, it has, there's a lot more. It's a lot more fibrous. This is uh, probably going to be a hybrid between uh, between Canariensis and Rupacola, or Canariensis and possibly a true date. But it looks more like a Rupacola style because it doesn't have the steps like a true date has. Rupacola doesn't really have that stepping. Uh, that so these this, this flatter trunk feature is going to be typical of Rupacola. So if you had, uh, but Robolini, uh, True Dates, even Sylvester's would have, well, Sylvester's don't really, Sylvester's doesn't really have that stepping, it has more of a hatching. So um, these are probably going to be a hybrid between the two. The, 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 the uh, inflorescence and uh, fruiting there is more typical of a Rupacola. It has, it brings out its flowers a little bit further out in the crown, where Canariensis is going to be a little bit closer in. So the fact that it's kind of halfway there is is kind of a telltale sign that it is in fact uh, probably a hybrid of Rupacola and Canariensis. So this one's a little looks a little bit nicer, has a fuller crown, and you can tell this isn't well taken care of. It's not trimmed up. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Normally, it's just that this is a shopping center that people tend to uh, frequent. Although there's no one here now, I don't really know what the status is of this this uh, store because I don't really see many people here uh, at any time. So. You can see it has that same root boss going on, the, the sprinklers hitting it. Everything here looks healthy, it's just that it's not a true species. So when you're buying a canary ancestor, if you're going to buy one, 
make sure that you're getting one from a someone who knows that they're that they're selling a pure species. Unless you want this, which is fine. It's just that they don't grow as fast. They don't. They grow. They grow faster, but they just aren't going to have that thick uh, trunk that you're looking for in in Canariensis. And you shouldn't pay the the Canariensis price. Uh, these on the open market uh, would go for uh, in Florida. Uh, three to five thousand dollars, and in California, I really actually don't know what the price would go for. Um, if they were true, now these should they're probably worth about uh, 30 to 45 per, 30 to 50 percent of that as a hybrid, so uh, you know, you can save some money there, but uh, it depends on you know, what you want. There's a trade off there, there's some pros and cons. So, I hope I establish those and help you guys uh, make a purchase if you're purchasing a Canary Island date. So, that was uh why I want to show you guys these palms here. So I hope that was uh, inf informative. And um, have any other questions about Canariensis or Phoenix in general, leave it down below. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you guys next time.